Hey, Ben Kaiser here, BenjiKaiser.com, and today you want to know, do you have to own a Mac to be a graphic designer? So today I'm going to give you three reasons why you do not have to own a Mac to be a graphic designer. Number one, they are completely comparable to Windows. If you compare apples to apples, or oranges to oranges, or pears to pears. So a lot of times, uh, I ran into the same thing. I would pick up a Dell computer, uh, and I would look at the specs, and I would think, okay, it's got horrible RAM, horrible memory, um, it's really plasticky, uh, this is garbage. And I would put it down, and I would walk away, and then I would go over to Mac, and I'd be like, oh, wow, it's metal, it's, you know, it's got, it's nice RAM, it's got drive, it's got an SSD, oh, heck yeah, like, this is the one. I was comparing apples to oranges. I wasn't actually looking at comparable specs. If I went and I picked up a $1,800 Windows, I would thought, why would I ever pay $1,800 for a window when I can get a Mac? That's like totally advertising. That's totally, I'm a Mac, I'm a PC, nerdy dweeb guy versus like cool like designer guy. So <laughs> compare apples to apples. As a graphic designer, don't be fooled by advertising when we know that advertising is what we do, we try and sell things. So don't be sold the lie that you're gonna be cool and trendy and be a better graphic designer just because of the computer you hold. And I'm not gonna, you know, fake it. I got a MacBook Pro right here. Um, but I also use Windows at my uh, design job. I'm a director of graphic design at a nonprofit organization. And we use Windows primarily because that's what our administrator is really good at working on. Fantastic computers actually faster than this MacBook Pro. Number two, I was always concerned that if I bought a Windows, it would get laggy, it would slow down, and it would just die. I mean, I remember my dad, for years and years, he would buy like, cheap $400 Windows computers, and he'd be replacing them every two to three years. What I didn't know is the way that the operating systems are set up. Mac is set up in a way that all the software and components are set up in a specific way so that they have very tight control over what goes in the computer, what you can do with the computer, uh, and so forth. Whereas Windows is more of an open platform. I can go in and I can open up this computer over here, which is a tower, a Windows tower, and I can pull out the graphics card. I can put new RAM in. I can change the, um, I can change a lot of different stuff. Let's just say that. And then I can make it faster, stronger, uh, lighter. Now with this, I can only really change the uh, hard drive and the memory. Everything else is just fused in there. What happens in that situation is you have components and software upgraded in a very specific way. So there's much unity in that. Where this, you have a lot of different components and a lot of different software, customizable, but you have upgrades coming from different places, and that creates a long list of information within your computer, and that begins to slow it down. Now, if you have any sort of knowledge or you know how to Google some things, you can back up your computer, you can do a clean install, you can replace all of those files and softwares that you've installed, and you can have a computer running super fast again in probably about an hour. The point is that that computer can stay just as fast, if not faster, than this MacBook Pro with a little bit of effort. And number three, did you know that Mac and let's say the Dell XPS 15, thinking about those type of comparabilities, often have the same internals? I'll give you an example with iPhone. iPhone 10 right now uses glass that is created by Samsung, which is why the iPhone 10 or iPhone X, whatever you want to call it, is so expensive because Samsung holds the patent and is holding that above Apple's head. And what they're doing is they're charging them a surplus and they're passing that on to the consumer. So you're not really paying for innovation, but you're paying because they are having to pay through the nose for these new screens, which I've heard they actually break just as much as my iPhone 7 here. So you're really not getting anything except aesthetics. And if you love aesthetics, great. Like, keep buying Mac products. Keep pursuing that. That's, that's amazing. I mean, if you like the product, keep working with it. But don't feel like you're stuck as a graphic designer having to own a Mac. The Adobe software comes with Windows. Um, you're good. You're totally good. I'm actually considering Windows for my next model. I know for me, that's crazy. I've been working on Mac for nine or 10 years now, but I'm seeing the benefits of being able to customize my machines as I'm doing more video editing. All right, thank you for tuning in today. Please comment below if you have any questions. If you totally disagree with me, I wanna hear about it. Like, I'm welcome to feedback. Uh, subscribe to this channel, stay up to date on all the latest reviews, and we will see you here on the next episode. I'm Benji Kaiser, benjikaiser.com.